David, there's only one trophy left that he cares to get his name on, and it's the Stanley Cup. And it all starts tonight for the Edmonton Oilers. Here we go, the 2024 edition. Over to Echo. He dishes, and now McDavid has it. McDavid comes into the zone. He's wheeling and dealing. McDavid, a pass in front. The shot is good, and they score! series converts again all season long career high 54 goals for Zach Hyman here it is here the spinorama around Anderson and then he finds Hyman it's almost picked off it looks like it's out of harm's way but Hyman stays in the battle great elusive move the head up by McDavid looking like he's gonna pass and this one is picked off right there by Moore but it's the quick stick smartly able to move it over to Evan Bouchard Bouchard connects with Henrique he slides it to McDavid. McDavid, a wrist shot that had a lot on it. Didn't hit the net. Here's another opportunity. Hyman to Adam Henrique as he wires one home. Just like that, the Oilers are off and running. It's two to nothing thanks to Adam Henrique. Excited to be injected in the top line with Connor McDavid. He knows when to give it to him. He's going, give it to him right there. That shot did not miss by much. Could keep it at the line by Bouchard to be on that wall. And then a nice pass by Zach Hyman. He takes a look, an extra little second to find the stick of Henry. And he elevates it up over top of the blocker of Cam Talbot. Wait a minute. I thought all of that extra security was for you in the playoffs. <laughs> You're a man of the people. You're beloved in Edmonton. And beautiful, Scott. Beautiful. <laughs> and now the puck bounces over to Hyman. Oilers trying to get back on the attack. Massive smidge too far for Henry. And David corrals the puck behind the net. Moves out in front. Dishes. Shooting and scoring. It's set. Hyman. Corners and then watch this. Connor McDavid sets up shot behind the net a little bit too much time and space, and he finds Hyman who gets to the right spot at the right time. He's done it all year long. One step fought off by Talbot, but the Oilers still have it. Bouchard to McDavid. McDavid down low, dry subtle from his spot, and it's Logan Hoffman who scores on the power play. The Oilers running away with it now, 4-0 here in the second period. The a lot in this game, Singer. You have to stay disciplined against the Edmonton Oilers, especially in the playoffs if you're the Los Angeles Kings. It's just been such a weapon for them. Lots of time and space to make these plays. Nugent Hopkins had the first chance he misses. This time he does it on a beautiful pass by Leon Dreisaitl. Nugent Hopkins left all alone. He sneaks into that back door, puts the stick down. It's a perfect target. Oh, no, no. The puck off his stick. Doughty with the effort there. Hyman races to get to it, and it's kept in by Phil Deneau. He connects. Arvidsson shooting. Pat stop. Let's get a big rebound. Anderson to Doughty. Anderson tees one up and scores! And the Los Angeles Kings have life. Makes a nice poke check into the defensive zone, and he gets his feet moving. And it's a little bit too hard of a ring by Zach Hyman. So possession is kept. The first blast by Arvidsson is stopped. The second one by Anderson has some eyes. Gets his head up. It's not as hard as the one. Big Vincent Day, her name knocking was on down. Lewis shooting. That one flutters wide. Spence has it. Spence ahead to Grunstrom. Spinning, firing. It's knocked down, and it's in the net. The Kings score. The deficit to two. And again, the Kings are buzzing here. This is a couple shifts in a row into the offensive zone. Shots from distance with traffic in front. And it resulted in two goals to cut the lead to two for Edmonton. This one here, a little spin shot. And you can see it ricochets. It's Grundstrom who gets injected back into the lineup. Hasn't played a game since February. And just sings this puck to the net. And watch this thing go off of Lewis in front. He's got to battle Big Day Harnay to get that positioning, finds a way as it drops down underneath Skinner. 
Upon video review has been determined that the puck went into the net off the glove. Therefore, there is no goal in the play. Yep. Doty's second in the NHL in time on ice, averaging 25 minutes and 48 seconds a game this regular season. He's a, a minute muncher. It's Kempe out front and the Kings score! All of a sudden, this time for real, the deficit is indeed cut in half. Behind the net, walks out, says, yeah, why not? And throws it through. He's actually looking for a tip. It might be Byfield that gets a piece of this. I thought it was Kempe. Maybe it goes off a skate here. But it's Byfield. Byfield gets that paddle down. That's a beautiful pass from Kempe. And Quentin Byfield, who had a breakout year this season. I guess when you're going to be wheeling as fast as he is up the ice with the puck, you want a, a clean sheet of ice to start. As it looks, hands it off. McDavid sliding it to Bouchard. Back to McDavid. Price at all. Score! First to the playoffs, and the Oilers regain a three-goal lead. And it's a rocket. Move around the world, set it up. You're going to see Dreisaitl get lost here. Just kind of moves himself into the position, and then wham. Once this pass is down there, he no hesitation on this shot, and he threads it right up over top of the left shoulder of Talbot inside the bar. Look how sharp that angle is, and he finds the back of the net. Such the battle within the battle. Drew Doughty up against McDavid again. They relish in it. That was like a bit of old school Goldberg from like WCW days wrestling wise or something. As here's McDavid with a pass in front, they score! It's a heavy for Hyman! First career playoff hat trick, the 13th different Oiler player in Edmonton history with a playoff hat trick. And again, this is a set play that you've seen so many times this season. They have so many options. They can work it around in so many different areas. And it's the quick pass by McDavid. For Zach Hyman, he sets up shop on the post, makes himself large. It's a bigger target with the skates and the sticks. And he just redirects this one home off the stick and finds its way in the back of the net. He essentially, with the skates on the ice and the blade, he makes it like a two and a half, three foot target. Here comes Kempe. Leaving it in the hands of Dubois. Maneuvering his way in. And that puck bounces into the net off an Oilers skate. A fortuitous bounce for the Los Angeles Kings, who are within three, with 3.04 left in the third. And it's Dubois from a pretty sharp angle. He likes to try and shoot this one off the stick of CC, off the body or skate of Darnell Nurse, you're going to see it right there off the skate and find its way in the net, so a double deflection. Stick, CC, skate, Nurse, and he says, sorry about that, partner. Give him credit for that. Typical playoff goals around the net. CC, who stick, broke LeFerrier to four, and they score! And all of a sudden, the Los Angeles Kings are within two with a minute and 11 to go in the third period. My, oh, my. Yeah. And as we talked about between these two teams, they don't go away. They always continue to claw back, always continue to try and do something. This stick just evaporates in CeCe's hands. And Leferriere with a nice pass over to Moore, and he taps it home. Not much you can do. CeCe tries to play it with the hand, but he puts it right to Leferriere, who will get his first ever play. Six on five here. Fiala stick snaps. And that allows the Oilers to lift the puck out once again. Here's Fogel who wins the battle and scores! Tenth career playoff goal for Warren Fogel. Pretty good shot here. Fogel takes an elbow for his measures here. Right here, both up into the face, but he spins, drills this one into the net and skates away, doesn't even react. And obviously the Los Angeles Kings not too happy right now. Shot blocked. Puck cleared. Let the Oilers faithful take it away. 